In this figure we have a central angle that measures 310 degrees and a central angle is an angle whose vertex is at the center of a circle. The radius of the circle is 12 units and we will find the length of the chord AB. We will solve this problem using two different methods and let's start with the first one. The point C is the center of this circle and the triangle ACB is an isosceles triangle because the sides AC and BC are equal and each one measures 12 units. In this triangle, the angle C can be found by subtracting 310 degrees from 360 degrees. So then, angle C equals 360 degrees minus 310 degrees, which equals 50 degrees. Now, the angles A and B are equal because they are angles opposite of equal sides. We know that in a triangle, the sum of all three angles measures 180 degrees. Therefore, to find one of these angles, we will take 180 degrees, we will subtract angle C, which is 50, then we will divide the result by 2. So then, 180 degrees minus 50 degrees equals 130 degrees, then 130 degrees divided by 2 equals 65 degrees. So each of these angles measures 65 degrees. Now from point C we will draw a perpendicular to AB and let this point be point D. And because the triangle ACB is an isosceles triangle, then this perpendicular will split the side AB into two equal parts. So AD will be equal to BD. Now let's take a look at the right triangle BDC. In this triangle, we will find side BD using the cosine function. We can say that cosine of 65 degrees equals the adjacent side BD divided by hypotenuse BC. So cosine of 65 degrees equals BD divided by hypotenuse BC, which is 12. Then to solve for BD, we will multiply both sides by 12. And on the right side, 12 and 12 will cancel. Then BD equals 12 cosine of 65 degrees, which is approximately 5.07. And now because BD is equal to AD, then to find AB, we will multiply 5.07 by 2. Then AB equals 5.07 multiplied by 2, which is 10.14. So we found the chord AB and it is 10.14 units. And now let's see the second method. With this method, we still have the isosceles triangle ACB, where this side is 12 units and this one is also 12 units and angle C is 50 degrees. To find the side AB of this triangle, we will use the law of cosines. To the right, we have a triangle with the angles A, B, and C. Side A is the opposite of angle A, side B is the opposite of angle B, and side C is the opposite of angle C. Now, if we know the lengths of sides A and B, and the measure of angle C, which is the angle between these two sides, then we can find the opposite side using this formula. Side C equals the square root of A squared plus B squared minus 2AB cosine of angle C. In our problem, we also have two sides and the angle between these two sides then we can find the opposite side of this angle by using the law of cosines. So then, AB equals square root of 12 squared plus 
12 squared minus 2 times 12 times 12 and times cosine of 50 degrees. Here we will use a calculator and we will get that AB is approximately 10.14 units. And this is the same result we got with method 1. I hope you enjoyed this video. Please subscribe, leave a comment and thank you for watching.